guys and girls, the Retro Genie, Grazy come and a thousand years old. You know, if we're bringing content, we don't bang content daily for no reason. If we're bringing content, we're bringing it because there's either new stuff happening in the TCG world, with our big subs, or we just got a big surprise. Now, Majesty Grading, who you know we love and we're friends of, don't forget to get your 15% off using Retro 15. I've just launched a range of new cases. So they've um, launched uh, box toppers, they've done uh, booster packs, and I think they've got stickers as well as your cards. Obviously always a fan favorite of mine because we stock multi TCG, hit that website below. Um, getting them graded is absolutely perfect for us. Now when they launched the box toppers we've got the uh, series one tv animation uh, tin toppers which we just had to get graded we had to get it graded mgc come in clutch so we sent in uh, some cards and we also sent in the tin toppers in this return and i suppose part two of the video will be the booster pack return let's get into it i am personally hyped for this don't forget, uh, hit Magistry, uh, MajestyGrading.co, uh, sorry, .com. Use that coupon code Retro15 and get 15% off your sub, which is a banging discount. And there it is. We also, so in this return, we have uh, Pokemon, we've got Patronaldo, as you can see there. We've got some Walking Dead, we've got uh, some Pop Series 4, we've got everything you need for your collection and everything will eventually go for sale on the website so let's take a look first up as i can see i think we'll come down a little bit we'll do the box toppers uh, last let's take them let's take everything out and get them set up on the mat we want to do the box toppers one to five for sure and we've got some more there and i think think that is that is the lot so first up we have got cristiano ronaldo this was kick kings this was pulled from whatnot our whatnot link is below sign up using that link get 10 pound free credit we've got our fingers in many many pies cristiano ronaldo kick kings we have got it's an absolute beautiful card dom rush patch worn in a nine that is nice i will in the nothing to see here box be putting up some prices and we'll try and keep a running total um obviously majesty are good value for money turnaround times on bronze at the mini six to eight weeks six to eight weeks isn't bad at all let's see ah okay we all know I'm obsessed with Japanese unused phone cards and we know we've got a range of Pokemon Japanese phone cards in stock. But this one, the truth is out there. Now we just um we just stopped the original season one booster packs in store under the iconic movie tab. And this is the second season, uh, the X-Files in a nine which we take the truth is out there absolutely lovely i'm not sure what this is if i'm honest um let's just see oh it's a banger now it may only be a four now this is the 1977 um anthony davis c3po now as you can see at the top i never noticed um mgc noticed this is the error c3po card the error being that they are aubergine eggplant looks a little bit suspect on the bottom but there you go we've got the 1977 um tops c3po now the value of this i already know is around 200 pound mark two to three hundred pound for the error card and that's in a psa5 so you know it's a lovely card error card always brings um that little bit extra to the table so we take that 
Let's pull the next one off. Who else loves, do you love graded card returns? I absolutely love graded card returns. We've got um, a massive sub with our friends at Black Label Grading as well, due to come back in Beckett's Labs. So we've got adversaries. So this is the numbered um, 50 to 99. You can see there, Rick versus the governor in an eight. Again, not disappointed. The corners of Topps cards being so square, it's very difficult to get them anything. You know, nines and tens is uh, lucky, but that's a beautiful card in the red. Um, numbered 50 to 99. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite card is. We've got Harry Potter next. So, Harry Potter is a big feature in our store. We love watching Harry Potter. And we've got a nine. Trust me now, Hermione, the top students, getting these cards in nines is hard work. Pack fresh cards have got whitening on them. So, to get a nine on that is absolutely stunning. Wizard of the Coast did it justice. We're getting there. We can see the gold label. Gold label obviously means 10. We're looking at Disney 100. I know what this is. This was to be sent in for my personal collection. So we have got the Mandalorian Disney 100 stamp. Absolutely lovely. Didn't collect the set. Not too fussed. Obviously, I've got the Genie card. Had to get the Genie card. But I do love Mandalorian and we are big Star Wars fans here. So we take those. We have got Shadows of the Empire. So an older set, I think around 96. I think this is a Luke artist card. No, it's not. It's the Boba Fett. Lovely in an eight. Now that is 1996 square edges in an eight. Obviously, Greg, the artist impression on there, blasting away. But absolutely lovely in an eight as well. All of these are up for sale on the website eventually. Probably over the next day or two. Or reach out to me on Instagram at the retro underscore genie. Pokemon. Not really sure. It looks okay on the back. Bring that into focus. Okay. This is a big card. We've got the Pop Series 4 Pokemon Fan Club. It's a fantastic card. The artwork on it is absolutely stunning. You've got the Mew, you've got the Pikachu, you've got the Pichus. An absolute lovely card, 2006. Very happy with that being in an 8. It's a £100 slab, £100 plus, but worth every penny. It's an absolute stunning card. We've stacked that up. Everybody knows that I'm a bit of a basketball fan. Cracked some NBA hoops open and pulled this Justin Lewis auto in an eight. Rookie is one of the reasons why I got it graded. Obviously, the rookie cards. Let's hope Justin does big things um, for the Bulls. But that is a very, very nice card we've got there in an eight. Again, no disappointments in the grade. We've got the last two, and then let's take a look at those box toppers. I cannot wait to see those box toppers. Starting off with a Star Wars card, I think. Yeah, we're starting off with a Star Wars card. Tops yet again, massive Star Wars fan. We've got Dave Stevens, and this, how stunning is this card? Dave Stevens. Tops um, Star Wars Galaxy, it's a fantastic card in an eight. 1993 to get an eight, that is unbelievable. Such a beautiful card as well. Absolutely stunning for your personal collections. So we take that all day. Last card, card boot sale. One of our friends over on Instagram joined our whatnot live stream where we opened the box of Y Schwartz. MGC kind of come in and said they'd grade the top card for free. Carbutel hit this and he has hit a 10 as well. So we've got the Han Solo Secret Rare. Absolutely lovely. Go Rogue, baby. Go Rogue. So congratulations and that will go out to you, my friend, in the next few days. So big congrats on that. I know why you're here. You, you want to see... The Cubans, you want to see the Cubans, you want to see 
the beasts that are the new top uh, tin tin toppers, I should say. We're gonna go from five to one. I think Charizard is number one. So let's start off with number five. The grades of these cards, so just quickly, one of these cards come fresh from a tin that I opened, which was the Team Rocket one, I think it's number three. The rest um, were accumulated over time and you can see that you know, there's a bit of whitening and stuff like that. So there's no expectations on the grades, but it, these need to be encapsulated. They crease the foil, you've got to get them in. Oh, Charizard is number five and it is a grade three. Like I said, you could see the whitening on the back. There's not no uh, marks on the on the actual card itself. Uh, what do I think of the slabs? I think the slabs are really nice. I do like a see-through slab. Um, that's one of the reasons why I did like MG, uh, CGC slabs. Gone off them now since they've done the new label. But that is very nice. Good quality. Absolutely fantastic. Starting off at number five with a grade three. Let's hope for some decent grades on the rest. Number four, it's a Pikachu. And again, it's at a grade three. I, I can't say shame. They look too nice. Can you see the full? I will put these up in a uh, little bit of a display. But you can see there's no mega marks. They're not scratches. There's just a bit of dust, you know. And I'm sure MGC, you know, always very consistent with the grades. Never any complaints. So a three is a three. Again, I'm loving. I'm loving the tin topper slabs. I'm loving them. Three of five is... Oh, there we go, baby. Straight in with an eight on the Team Rocket. Now, this is the one that I got fresh from the tin, personally. Um, so, you can tell. You can tell. There's the grade eight. Grade eight on that. You know, nines and tens are going for 1,500 quid for tin toppers. Crazy money. Absolutely crazy money. That is a beautiful tin topper in an eight i like the consistency with the labels you know the labels to the trading cards just so you can see the pure size comparison will lift you up a little bit more and you can see there so there is there is substantial uh, size difference but i know that these slabs you know i think i think you can grade tickets so like football tickets season tickets you know that's probably what the extra the extra space is for but look at that three side by side they look amazing you don't even look at the grade but anyway we've got the eight happy with the eight two of five we're getting down to the brass tacks we take a five all day so this is again ash and others part two of five i don't feel uh, like the camera does it justice does the face cam do it not really but look, you can see, absolutely fantastic. And I'll be hyped to have these um, in the store. Interestingly enough, you know, obviously, the, you can sort of see, you can't see any marks on them on the front, which is great for display purposes. Obviously, they're just fantastic. I absolutely love them. And, I, and I'm hyped to finally have them graded. And the last one, one of five. <laughs> It's party time. We got a Pikachu. We got the Charmander. We got the Butterfree. We got the Rapidash. We got the big Blastoise boy. And we got the Grade 5 on that one. So again, quality, quality slabs. The slabs look absolutely lovely and they're really tough. The quality of the slabs are fantastic. I love the consistency, you know, in the labels. I know you guys want to take a little look at the Charizard. Let's put the Charizard and the Pikachu together. Just look at that. They are fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. I just... I just think they're just amazing. I just think they're amazing. The box toppers are absolutely uh, fantastic. MGC, quality as usual. You'll see the prices above of what we what the return on these are. Um, Retro 15 to get your discount. And look, 
it's great to bring some content back. The next video, like I say, we don't overwhelm with content. We've got a big submission coming back from Black Label Graydon. That title of that submission will be, can you make money grading um, raw cards? We're gonna put up the cost we pay for them. We're gonna put up the cost, um, it cost us to grade them. And then we're gonna just look at last solds on eBay and let's see, are we gonna come up? Are we gonna come down? Who knows? Peace to the people. Thank you for joining. Comment, like, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.